In this video, we're going to talk about different things we can do to sets. So these are set operations. Um, operations let us manipulate sets in various ways. There are operations for many types of, um, of number systems or things other than just sets. So in algebra, we have the add operator, the subtract operator, the multiply and the divide. Right? These are all things we can do to numbers using algebra. Boolean operations we saw earlier in the semester. We can and things together or or them together or negate Boolean expressions. Right? Again, these are things we can do with Boolean expressions. Um, in Java, or any programming language, there's also going to be operators. So, for example, there's a multiplication operator. In Java, there's a modulus operator. We can and, logically and things together, or or them together, and so on. So operators are just things that allow us to manipulate the items under question. So in this example, or in this section... We're going to be working with sets, so set operators. So the first set operator I want to talk about is the union. Um, it is usually drawn as a capital U with no tail. That means it's not like that, and it's not like that. Right? It's just U, and it's a capital U. Um, we're also going to be talking about, and this is part of why I make that distinction, is we're also going to be talking about a universal set. So when a universal set is, is it's the background. And it usually depends. So, you, I'm going to call that with the tail or with the serif. That's what those little lines at the top mean right here. Those are the serif. This usually depends... On the context of the problem. So some problems will give it to you explicitly, but other times if we're talking about how set A and B are both, you know, A is the even integers and B is the set of all prime integers, for example. Well, sort of the background, right, the universal set behind it all, we're talking about the integers. If we're talking about um, various decimals, uh, then the universal set may, may be all real numbers. Or conceivably, it could be rational numbers or irrational numbers. Right? It's sort of, this is often open to interpretation. You kind of think about it as looking at what we're talking about, what's sort of the overall background behind the sets A and B that we're looking at. So in this case, we have sets A and B in this Venn drawing here. And we'd say that the union of A and B uh, is the set of all elements that are in at least one of A or B. So we say A union B equals, we can define this using set property notation. This is from all elements x in the universal set, such that x is an element of A, or x is an element of B. And we can shade this as covering everything in A or in B. Right? So this is A union B. And you may notice that this is really synonymous
to a Boolean or. Right? This is like an or. I'm saying uh, A union B, well, if anything in A is true, then, or anything in B is true, then the union is going to be true. That's, you know, with a Boolean twist where everything's true or false. But it's the same kind of an idea. So I can say that A union B just contains anything and everything in both A and B. So if some element X is in A or X is in B, so let's write this, if X is an element of A or X is an element of B, then X is an element of A union B. And I guess that's really what this line is saying as well. Okay, so that's union. Next, we're going to look at intersection. Intersection is a similar symbol. It's an upside down U. Right? Once again, we have a universal background set uh, U representing the universe. And we say the intersection of A and B is the set of all elements that are in both A and B. Right, so we can define this actually. Say A intersect B equals set where X is an element of the universe such that X is in A and X is in B. All right, so looking at this illustration right here, the only case where that's going to be true is right in here. Right, because X has to be both in A and in B. So this is A intersect B. And again, you're going to notice that this is synonymous to a Boolean AND. Right? An element has to be in both A and in B for it to be in the intersection. Let's look at the next operator. Next operator is the set difference. Um, where we say the difference of B minus A is the set of all elements that are in B, but not in A. So we say B minus A is set where again x is an element of the universe such that x is an element of b and x is not an element of a so looking at this right if x is right here then that's okay because x is in b but not in a but if x is over here then x is in both so that would not be in the set difference so this is going to work out to look like a Pac-Man, right? Where it's in all the up part of B except where the two overlap. Right, so this is going to be B minus A. There's not really a Boolean operator that works similarly to this. This is a uh, uh, set difference, so it doesn't match a Boolean operator. Um, final operator we're going to look at is set complement, and it is done as a subscript of the set. So, for example, we'd say A complement or B complement. Um, the complement of A is the set of all elements in the universe that are not in A. Right? So we say A complement equals 
the set of all elements in the universe such that x is not an element of a. And notice that leaves an awful lot of territory. So x can be anywhere in the universe, in b or not in b, but it cannot be in a. So this is a complement. Um, this is synonymous with not. Right? It's the opposite. It's anything that's not in A. Okay, so we've seen four different operators. Now here I am going to give you the universe here. Because if I didn't give you the universe, if I just gave you these two, then the implied universe would be all letters in the alphabet. Uh, but I don't want to deal with all letters in the alphabet. So I'm going to explicitly give you the universe here. And we're going to say, okay, A, are, A includes these elements and B includes those elements. So what is the union? Well, if we want to, we can even draw this. Let's see, we'd have A involves A and C and E and G and B includes E and G, but it also has D and F and the universe contains A, it also has B, C, D, E, F, G. So I think B is the only one it doesn't have, or the, the only one that's not in A or in B. A, E, yeah. Okay. So that tells us what is their union. And again, I don't have to draw the Venn diagram. That's totally optional. Another way of doing it is the union is just going to be everything that's in either of these. So we can say A, C, E, G, D, E, F, G. And then remember that the replication duplicates don't really count. So we can cross out any duplicates, and we're left with A, C, E, G, D, and F. That's the union. How about the intersection? Well, again, the intersection is only going to be the elements that overlap, and so we can look at the overlap here, or we could draw a picture like this Venn diagram and see that E and G are overlapping. So these are part of the intersection. Right. Now we have A minus B. So what elements are in A that are not in B? So we have the letter A in A, lowercase a. There is no A in B, so it's going to be in A minus B. And C, there is no C in B, so we're going to have A and C. And then E, we do have a pair, so we're not going to include that in the set difference. And G, we have a pair, so we're not going to include that in the set difference. And again, we could have just looked at our Venn diagram and seen that the only things that are in A but not in B are A and C. And finally, a complement. Again, we can do this either by looking at the Venn diagram or we can say, well, let's look at the universe and if there's something that's the same in the universe, it's not going to be in the difference.
Okay, so the set difference is going to, or the set A complement, excuse me, is going to be everything in the universe that's not an A, which means it's going to be B, D, and F. Again, we can come over to our diagram and say, well, what's not an A? These are an A, so we have B, D, and F. So these are set operators, and they can be used to combine sets, to manipulate sets. We're going to see a lot more of these operators as we go through the module.